We continue to preview the 2024 college football season. Our stop today is Joliet, Illinois, as we visit with Joe Curry, heading into his 13th season as the head coach of the St. Francis Fighting Saints. Coach, we always start uh, looking at the, the previous year, 7-3, and three, a quality season. 2-3, uh, and three, though, in the Midwest, and, and I know that, that was where it was a little bit of a, a, a rough, right in the middle of the season schedule, a couple of one-possession losses. Uh, you fight back. And put yourself, though, I think, in a position to be looked at for a playoff opportunity, but still seven and three, a solid season. Yeah, we, uh, I mean, it, it wasn't what we expected last year. Um, we just, we, we suffered from injuries last year that, 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 that hurt us. And our, our quarterback was playing on a, um, he only played five games, I believe it was five or six games, but he, three of them were on a broken foot. Um, he had a Liz Frank fracture in his foot that he, um, that he wanted to play on. And then finally he got to the point where he, he couldn't play anymore. And, and, um, but he was, he, he was our quarterback in the, in the two, uh, you know, last possession losses. Um, just something that happens within our league all the time. It's been, um, we lost a close one to St. Xavier uh, in a game that I've, I've, I, you know, every year I'm coaching, there's something new that happens every year. And, um, and we went to overtime for St. Xavier and the total overtime was only two plays, one play for us, one play for them over something I've never experienced before. So, um, so that was a tough one. And then, uh, um, and then we, we lost next week and that was our quarterback's last game that he played. Um, but on a broken foot, he really couldn't run. He couldn't do the things that made him dynamic. Um, you know, so lost that one in the last minute. And that, that was kind of, you know, our kids were that not only he was hurt, his brother, Scott had a grade three quad tear. And I mean, we lost our middle linebacker to a torn ACL. We just had a bunch of, injuries last year that I'm hoping this year if we just stay healthy I like where we'll be at coach that that those are some heartbreakers too and and I I'm with you on that I I've never seen a two play overtime so that that's one of yeah. those heartbreakers I'm sure to experience but uh, that's in 23 looking ahead to 24 now and I just want to ask you quickly to you know look at the the Midwest it's a different feel this season uh, you know teams Heading out, moving to D two teams, moving over from the Mid East in the Mid States Football Association. Tell us a little bit about that Midwest and the different dynamic. Yeah, it's just you know um, our our league is kind of whether you're on the East or the West, it's always been challenging. Um, I will say over the past, I would say probably about three years, three years or so, um, the East has been um, a lot more challenging um, than the West. But uh, but now this year, uh, moving over to the West, we have uh, St. Francis of Indiana and Marion that come over here to the West. And um, those are routinely top of the country teams and top five teams when everything's going good. Um, so that it's, it's a, it's challenging, but one of the things that, that we've, whether or not they've been on the East or whatnot, we've been used to for the past, since I've been the head coach for 13 years, playing Marion, playing St. Francis, Indiana. So it's nothing new to our schedule, but now those things just, mean more as far as the Midwest title and those sort of things go. So um, it'll be challenging, but our the Mid-States is always challenging. The one thing that the Mid-States has gotten really good at, yeah, we've had some teams leave and go D2 and some other different situations, but there is no cupcake, so to speak, in our league. I mean, you, you got to come and, and play every single day, every single week you're out there. And, you know, if it, so it's it, it constantly keeps us um, – our players aware, challenged, and uh, and I think that's a good thing to keep them focused throughout the year. And um, so we like it. Is it going to be challenging? Yes. Um, my biggest thing this year, just hopefully we can try to stay healthy. If I I felt like if we would have been healthy last year, we would have had a good shot to to win those games that we lost. And and yeah. you know we just didn't do that. But this is a new year, and hopefully some new uh, some new health will be will be with us. <laughs> Well, New Year brings back some familiar faces and familiar names, though. And and uh, you, you know, you talk about your quarterback, Sam Tumulty, senior, as he comes back to <clears throat> lead the way for the the Fighting Saints there in the offensive backfield. He'll have a familiar name as a as a receiver as well, Joey Tumulty, coming back for his sophomore season. Tell us a little bit about those two, and then the remainder of the offense too. Yeah, Sam is um, you know he's our quarterback, obviously going into his fourth year starting for us, and he's. He's just real dynamic. Um, you know, he 
I, I really felt like last year he came out like gangbusters in our first game. He scored eight touchdowns. He threw four and ran for four. You don't get much more productive than that. We thought he had a good shot if he stayed healthy to be the net, a runner something for the National Player of the Year, but um, that didn't work out for him. But we, you know, our offensive philosophy is put the ball in our playmaker's hands and get the hell out of the way. And and that's what we do with Sam. And, and uh, he's got a good weapon in his brother, Joey. Uh, we also have a senior wide receiver, Des Jordan, who's our – who's our deep threat, who um, who had a real good year for us last year, and he's back for his senior year as well. So um, I, I, I like our our athletes and our dynamic on offense. Um, you know, we just got to, you know, we always go into every game and say, hey, listen, if we just don't turn the ball over, we should be okay. And um, so we really focus on putting in their play, putting our playmakers' hands and not turning it over. And if we can do that, I like what our offense can do. You know, I, I remember, Coach, uh, talking with you about Sam last year and, and, you know, just how dynamic he is and what all he does and multifaceted. And uh, I was kind of thinking without saying it, but I think you said it best. I just wanted to mention his name and get out of the way and let you <laughs> let you talk about him because I, I know that he can do a lot. And it was a fantastic opening to the season last year. We're visiting now with Joe Curry, who's the head football coach for the St. Francis Fighting Saints here on Midwest Sports Net. And I encourage you, please, to subscribe to the channel. We enjoy talking about small college sports and more throughout the Midwest and beyond. We talked about Sam. We talked about Joey. Let's talk about defense. And there's one more Tumulty name to mention. Scott Tumulty is coming back to help lead things for the defense. Tell us a little bit about the defensive effort. Yeah, our defense, um, you know, one big loss that we had is we lost our All-American um, nose guard, uh, Mike Johnson, from last year. Um, but, you know, our, our defensive line is, is returning everybody except him and uh, – our linebackers, um, the, the guys who started for us last year are all back. Uh, Scotty kind of anchors everything for us in the secondary. Um, but Scotty does everything for us. Scotty also is our starting safety. He's our punt returner, kick returner. We also play him at tailback on offense. So he's he's kind of does everything for us. And um, he's, you know, hopefully, like I said, he was hurt last year too. And hopefully this year um, he stays healthy for his senior year. And, and we just, we get another good year out of him. But our defense finished number three in the country last year. So, and with, you know, just about everybody coming back, um, you know, I, I like what our defense does and our defensive coordinator, Tom Miller does a heck of a job with those guys. And, um, you know, so hopefully we put the ball in the end zone and not allow touchdowns. That's a recipe for W's and that's what we want. Special teams last year, you had a kicker who was perfect on extra points through 40 opportunities. He's not there this year, so someone new will help you in that facet of the game. Yeah, we, um, you know, we've got. Even though we had Brian, who was who was our kicker for four years, um, he just graduated. Uh, but you know, our, our our depth at that position is pretty good. We do have a. He was here last year. We got a Western Illinois transfer as a kicker last year. Um, that uh, that we're looking to to step into that role maybe a little bit. Um, we also have a couple talented freshmen. Last year, they'll they'll be sophomores this year, but couple talented freshmen last year who um, did some good things. We just didn't need them just because we had Brian. But um, so it, it'll be a nice, healthy kicking battle in, in, in camp here coming up. And, you know, I always tell kickers, just just kick it. Just put it through the uprights. That's all you, that's all you need you to do. You know, so um, so hopefully we, we, we got the guys to do that. And, uh, and our special teams will be um, will be pretty successful for us again this year. Season gets underway on a Saturday, first Saturday in September, out of conference game as you travel to Waldorf to take on the Warriors and then back at home the next week as you host Lawrence Tech. Tell us a little bit about the opening to your season. Yeah, I mean, the opening of our season, um, you know, Waldorf, um, you know, we, we we beat them pretty handily last year, but they were coming off of a they, – they just got a brand new coach, and, and, you know, and I think that guy's doing a heck of a job there at Waldorf. Um, so that I looking for them to be much, much improved. And anytime you got to go play a college football game on the road is always tough. You know, it, it's, it's the first game of the year. It's, it's an overnight trip. There's so many different things that go into it. Um, you know, so I, I expect Waldorf to be better and we'll, we're going to have to play our butts off in that game. And then we come back and we play Lawrence tech who Lawrence tech last year, we just beat 14 to 12. So it wasn't like we, um, wasn't like we, we, we beat them very handily. Now we didn't have our quarterback Sam for that game. So hopefully that, helps us. Um, but you know, they got a brand new coach here at Lawrence tech too. Uh, he's a, he's a, um, an old high school head coach in, in the state of Michigan there. And he's put together a great staff and done some great things. So I expect Lawrence tech to be better. And then, uh, and it doesn't get any easier for us. So we come, uh, 
after our home game, our second game, we go back on the road up in Michigan again. And, and overnights in Michigan, we always have a tough time playing those games. And then we come back home for our homecoming game. We play Indiana Westland for homecoming, and they're going to be top five in the country. So, And that's just the non-conference schedule. And then we get into our conference schedule where we'll play, you know, St. Xavier, where we play um, St. Francis, Indiana, where we play Marion. So it's going to be a constant grind um, for our schedule this year and no different than any other year, but, uh, but th- there will be some challenges. We just, the way we approach it as a staff and as players, as we talk about just going one and zero every week, you can't look, you can't look forward. You can't say, Oh, we're going to play Marion in three weeks. We got St. X in three weeks. No, we, we got to do a damn good job of going one and zero every week. And if we do that, um, I, I, I like where we'll be. Well, coach, I, 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 appreciate you taking time with us today to, to preview the season. And I, I think above all things that uh, I always say success to, to coaches, to their teams, uh, success and health to you, to your team, <laughs> that uh, you guys are, are healthy and get to play, you know, at full capacity all the way through your season. And it should be a fun year. Coach Joe Curry, St. Francis Fighting Saints. Thank you, sir, for taking time to preview the, the season for us here on Midwest Sportsnet. Well, thank you for having me on. And thank you for all you do for uh, NAI football. 